Here's a video on inserting audio. Audio has become a little more difficult to add to HTML in the past few years with the multitude of browsers that exist and they're looking for different codes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, the assumption is that you have exported your file as an MP3. Once you have your file in either the same folder as where your HTML files are stored or in a subfolder, let's say the a sound, a, a subfolder called sound below where your HTML files are, are saved, um, you'll, you should be okay. Now here's what I do. Let's say I want to have a play bar here that's going to play a song or a sound. What I'll do is I place my insertion point where I want it to be. I go over to source and I make sure that I see where my insertion point is. If you don't see it blinking, just type something in. You'll see where it's starting to show up. That looks like a good spot for it. Then what you can do is you can Google search HTML audio MP3, something like that, or insert audio HTML. The first site that'll come up is W3 Schools. And it says right at the beginning, playing audio in HTML is not easy. You must know a lot of tricks to make sure your audio files will play in all browsers. Again, this used to be really easy to do. Well, now what I do is I go through these. I'm going to go to HTML audio, the best solution. I'm going to copy and paste this code. Now, what will happen here at the end is I will likely have my audio playing twice. But I'll find out one way or another if it's going to play. And if it plays twice, then I'll get rid of the second code called embed. So you copy this. Oops, there we go. You copy this. You go over to your HTML in the source panel. Paste it in. And now it's a matter of identifying what your audio uh, file name is going to be. So in my case, I'll go over here and you'll notice that in my web tutorial folder where I have my HTML files, I have one MP3 file called crocodilerock.mp3. If you have something that's long in terms of file name and, and lots of spaces and all kinds of weird characters, do yourself a favor and rename your sound files to something nice and short without spaces and all in lowercase. But anyways, I have Crocodile Rock here. I also have a, and the, the ideal place of, to put sounds is in a subfolder. This one's called sound. It's a subfolder called sound and it has a file called car wash. So we can remember that. Crocodile Rock's here, car wash is here. I did this to show you the two different ways that this will end up working. So coming back to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the file name that's there, which is horse, and I'm going to replace it. I want to have car wash play. So to do this, I'm going to type in the name of the folder, slash, the name of the file. Again, it's an MP3. I can get rid of this line here. It's about og vorbis, and I won't even explain what that is at this point. I'll do the same thing here. Whatever I typed in up here, I type in down here. Sound slash car wash. Dot mp3. I make sure it's spelt correctly. I make sure that I've got it looking in the right folder. And if I do that and save this file, nothing seems to happen here in Composer, but that's okay. I'm going to uh, preview my page. I'm doing it here in Chrome. I'll do a Control O. I'll look into the right folder for the right file. It's coming. And I'll do the same thing in Internet Explorer. So I'll go look for this in my web tutorial folder. Index is the one that I just modified. And I'll see if I get, and sure enough, you can't hear it in your headphones or your speakers, but I can hear this sound playing over here. The second one is playing. The first one, I would have to press play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one here. And that was the embed sound, the embed uh, code. So I'm going to go over back to, whoops, to Composer. And I'm going to get rid of here it is. I'm going to get rid of this code. 
I'm going to refresh it again. So I got rid of the embed code. And I'm going to refresh this again and make sure that it only shows up once. And here we go, it only showed up once. If I press play, I can hear it playing. So if it doesn't work, make sure that you're referring to the right file in the right folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the second sound, but I'm going to do it so that it looks for Crocodile Rock that is not in a special folder. So again, I go to Composer. I'll say that I want it playing after this image, so I'll place my insertion point here. I'll make myself a little spot. I'm going to go over to this, to the source panel. I'm going to go back to my original code, which was this. Copy that. Now I know that I won't need embed, really, so the only thing I'm going to need is audio controls, the first line, and the last tag. So I'll fix that once I go in. And how do I know this? Well, I know this because that first code was working just fine in this browser. So I'm going to get rid of horse here. Now, because it's not in a special folder, it's just in the same folder as the HTML, I don't have to type in anything with a slash. I'll type crocodile rock here. I'll get rid of this line, the og vorbis we don't need. We don't need the embed. We know it's going to show up twice now. I'll just move this up and save it. And nothing happens in Composer. But again, I go to my browser. The important part was saving it so that it will reflect the changes. I refresh it. And you can't hear it in your speakers, but I can hear it playing over here. Now, an important thing to do is if you're doing it in Internet Explorer, which you probably are, it's the same thing. Do a control open, control O. Let's see how it works in this browser. And if it doesn't work, we'll have to change the code, but it should. Oh, I know I need to allow block content. And here we go. See the, uh, the audio bar looks different. And I just tested it and I can hear it. This audio bar looks different. And I'm using Internet Explorer. I believe this one now is 11. Whoops, wrong one. But I believe it's 11. So it might look different in uh, 9 or 10. But having said that, you still should have an audio bar. I know it's going to work with Internet Explorer. So that should help you. Uh, if you need to learn how to save as an MP3, uh, there were instructions in the course on doing this. Uh, but the important part about the MP3 files is if you've recorded something, you want to export it as an MP3 uh, using Audacity, and it should work if you have the lame encoder installed. That's the end of this video. Uh, have a good exam period and a good second semester.